Hi all, in this video I am going to explain about JavaScript data types. All programming language have different types of inbuilt data types but at some something it have uh, some difference will be there okay so in javascript if you write a number 5 it returns a type as number if you type a string with a single quotes or double quotes then it will return the type as string the same way you have heard about the true or false okay so it will return the boolean so these are the data types normally available in almost all programming languages but additionally in javascript you can see other data types like undefined then null then in ES 6 uh, the new data type has been introduced which is called symbol which accepts something identifier some identifiers also and some big end also there then objects object okay so these are the main data types used in javascript okay so coming to the undefined hope you guys are uh, able to understand five high the string number and boolean data types and if you check if you check the type of this number so how you will check in javascript how you check the type of a number or string or boolean or undefined whatever the type how you check in the javascript in javascript there is a key co keyword called type of so if you enter the word type of put a space and after give a number string or whatever data then you just console it console dot log of type of 5 i am typing the type of 5 it will return the data type okay so this is a keyword type of space that data so if you enter 5.1 also it is a number so type of um, the data is uh, 5.1 is number the same way if you want to check the type of a string it will return the string here it's a boolean you can see it's a boolean the same way before checking the type of undefined i will explain what is undefined so undefined is nothing if you declare a variable and put a semicolon and that variable is not assigned any value at like a equal to 10 something like that i am not assigning it is just declared okay so before de before assigning a value always javascript automatically assign a undefined value to the variable before assigning a our own value okay so if you type a it will return undefined but if you type a equal to 10 then its value is getting changed then a will return 10 so before assigning a value the a or on the declaration it will uh, assign undefined by default in javascript similar way null if you assigned a value already and if you want to reset that value or empty that value you can do like a equal to null so undefined is something javascript is getting assigned before uh, during the declaration time and before the assigning time okay but null is something we are doing our own from our end in order to make it empty or make it uh, actually it represents nothing empty or unknown value then you can think of like why I can define undefined I can declare or assign a value a equal to undefined instead of null but the recommendation is always a equal to null uh, to make that value as an empty you can also make it as undefined but that is not recommended and that is also not a good approach so undefined will be uh, assigned by javascript uh, which means it doesn't have any value assigned it 
but null means if you want to change a from one value to empty value you can assign it to a null option okay so it will return the null then uh, symbol so you are not using the symbol we are, we are not using the symbol function but i will i am not uh, detailing much about the symbol function but it is normally used to, to create a unique identifier for the object so it will create a unique identifier for the object so that is the purpose of the symbol okay and big big int is something like uh, using the number so uh, if you are writing 5.1 also number of 5.1 it's both are equal right so if the, we are using the number there is some limit for uh, writing this number and if that limit exceeds it will throw some error or infinity but if we want to use uh, a long number you can use big int instead of the number normally we won't use this big int so i'm not explaining if you want to know more about that you can search for the symbol and big int okay so it is nothing it's it's it want to uh, enter more number uh, um, which exceeds the limits of the number you can use the big int that is the main purpose okay next and the main one of the javascript type is object object uh, may be as you are aware if I am declaring for a equal to an object and I am consoling the type of a so it will be an object so it will return the object sorry before going into that uh, object I I just I will show you the type of all type of of undefined null symbol and begin also okay one second So it will return the undefined so if you type uh, the type of null you will be surprised it is returning the object so this is number 11 7 so it is returning the object why because I have read through uh, documentation and it is showing the type of null is returning object it is an officially recognized error okay so they are aware of this error and um, they are not fixing that error because there has a lot of dependencies so uh, there is a minor bug uh, like a type of null it returns object but it is an error okay for your information then symbol if you console log of symbol it will return the symbol data type then begin of one two three i'm just putting a number and it's a begin type okay so coming to the object again so if i'm assigning a var a equal to empty object and either you can make it as an empty object or you can make it as a new object anything is fine okay behind the scene everything is same okay saving it and i'm giving the type of object it is returning object then you may think or worried about what about the array and what about the other data types yeah so all the data types all the other data types like array functions then set map all is coming under the data type object so i will explain if you make it as an array so i am giving a var b equal to array and if you check the type of b it will return the object so it's an array but it is returning the object so it's uh, it's an object only okay the similar way the function function I am creating a function say hello and it is returning a string hello and if you do the console dot log of type of 
बस से हेलो बट इट इज रिटर्निंग फंक्शन या आई आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड यू कंफ्यूज यू सेड आई ओली सेड इट इज रिटर्निंग द ऑब्जेक्ट सो इट हैज कमिंग अंडर द फंक्शन इज ऑल्सो कमिंग अंडर द ऑब्जेक्ट बट फंक्शन इज ऑल्सो ऑल्सो बिहेव्स लाइक एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम एडिंग जस्ट अस्यूम इन द से हेलो आई एम एडिंग add text a variable with the value like an object and if i am consoling that value it will return it will return the value so this function is also behaving like an object so if you want you can go through the uh, details in google the function data type okay so it is all uh, anyway this uh, function is also coming under the data type object then it's in, uh, maybe you are uh, newly aware of the data types like a set map they are very useful data types i can go through the examples okay so i am typing var map equal to then new map this is how we will declare map then what is the use of map map is uh, actually it's similar way of object it is storing a uh, key value pair but the thing is in the map we can allow the keys of any types like a boolean string number anything okay so that is the main difference between the object and map it is a similar way like an object but it can store the key as any types okay so this is a map so if you uh, show the map it will show like this and normally if you want to store anything inside the map there are set of functions okay the functions are if you go in the website javascript info you can clearly mention the map so this is how we declare map and if you want to set any value set key value if you want to get any value there are multiple functions you can use that function see set one string one then a string key will be uh, written so i am just copying this one then you can you will be able to identify it and then you can see the key is a one and the string so the same way a uh, numeric key value boolean key value pair you can store it okay that is a map function and the type of map also we can check type of map is also an object okay the similar way there is another thing called set what is set so var set equal to we will declare a new set like this and set will only store values not a key okay so we can only set values through the set function and the uh, the main point is set won't store duplicate values if you want to each value only occur once in the set okay so if you add, add uh, some uh, numbers or booleans or uh, string inside the set and if you try to duplicate the same value insert the same value again into the set uh, it won't store it okay so i can show you an example the same way as map uh, the set to also have some functions in order to insert okay so in map it was like a set get but here it will be add okay so add function you just uh, store hello as a key i am storing here so the set contain a hello okay so if you try to store the hello again it won't store see only one so it won't allow duplications of the string number or values okay so mm, so it store hi but again if we enter hello it will it will always return the same set it won't add the value so these are the different types of data types we are using in the javascript